Oh, yeah. Nah. Hello, people. You probably <laughs> am wondering why I haven't uploaded in two weeks. I actually was starting on a new project. I'm, I've started to make my own song. Well, produce my own song. I have multiple songs already, but this is the first song I'm actually making. And I was so excited for that because it would be really fast <laughs> because I came so far in only three days and it's crazy but then I got sick don't worry it's not corona it's actually an, an infection I think a sinus infection which isn't fun <laughs> uh, I'm not feeling very well um you see I haven't been to school in one and a half years and after one and a half years I went to college again three weeks ago and usually even before corona I would when I and every time I enter a new environment I get sick like when I enter a new environment and spend time there over and over again I get sick and it happened again so I'm sick now so I guess this is gonna be a sick vlog a <laughs> sick vlog yes you're gonna see me at my worst I have these dark beautiful circles around my eyes it's now day three Thursday I felt very tired and I felt an eye infection coming <laughs> I know, I also had that. Friday, my eye infection was as good as gone, but I got the sinus infection. And now it's Saturday. My mom did make me a bouillon thing. So I'm right now I'm drinking that. It's very nice and very hot. And um, yeah, it just makes me so happy when she made that. So I, I decided to start the vlog now <laughs> because I got some bouillon from my mom. I'm also watching a show that I watched when I was younger. A thousand of it's Dutch, but I watch, started watching that today again because I'm sick and when I'm sick I usually watch things that I watched when I was younger. I don't know why, it's just a thing I like to do. Update, I just came out of the bath and I have such a huge headache. Filming right now is the biggest challenge because I feel so bad. This was one of the worst nights of my entire life. And I'm gonna have to do a corona test today. Hello everybody and good morning. I finally had a good night of sleep. I only woke up once uh, for my period. <laughs> the breathing still sucks, but um, I had the test results on negative, so I don't have corona, so that's cool. Um, it's not corona, but I do have trouble breathing sometimes <sighs> and it's cold today and that doesn't help <laughs> but um, I'm actually going to have my lesson soon and that's my cornflakes and I'm gonna eat those I'm wearing a sweatshirt shirt I actually don't really like wearing sweatshirts but when I'm sick it's at least big and it keeps me warm, you know, so what else you gotta do, I guess. Oh, and yesterday, I know that yesterday I was a bit negative, but I did see some really cool trees that made me happy. I found something that's fun to do. Look, um, I, I found these pants and like this vintage shop thing, but um, I mainly bought them because of these. And I have worn them as pants, you can see it on my Instagram, but I don't want to wear them as pants anymore because they're just a little bit annoying, I feel like. But I really want to have these um, things to cut, I want to cut them out and sew them onto different clothing, or maybe even use it as a belt. I think you can hear me breathe really loud because I just, I, because I, my nose is very blocked off so I don't feel like I get enough air. So that's why I breathe like... <sighs> It's because I, want, I don't have the feeling of getting enough air, but oh yeah, the doctor's appointment, it went well. I do have right enough um, oxygen, could be a tiny bit better, but it's nothing to be alarmed about, so it's just a flu. Okay, so I already started a little bit on it. First I wanted to cut it out, um, you know, really cut the whole lining and stuff, but then I found out that this material seems to be quite cheap. <laughs> So I can just cut the um, the line where it's sewed into the into the pants, and I can just cut those little parts. Oh yeah, you'll like it. I started to look back at her older episodes that I haven't seen yet, and I'm now at episode 22, I think, or 21. I've got one of the strings of the many strings of the setup to go. 
off now, which I'm very happy about, but I notice I'm, my headache is so much worse and I've given out way too much energy today. I've also followed some lessons. I've been trying so much and I've been focusing also what I want to do and it's taken so much energy that I really need to lay down and maybe just watch a series or sleep or I don't know yet but I have to go <laughs> I will finish this later I just can't right now and that's okay I just need to stop hello everyone I probably look a little bit more healthy or not I, don't, I honestly don't know anymore um, my nose is a little bit better but you still hear I'm sick um, I'm now cough coughing a bit which is not nice. I hoped I would get around it without having to cough, but apparently I do. Ah. Uh, anyway, goodbye. Thank you for caring enough to make it through here to, with the video because this is just a video of me being sick. Oh, maybe, maybe I can share something exciting, right? So, something exciting, which is that um, I've been wanting to do horse riding for years and years. And not being like a horse girl like ooh, but like like seriously like i just want to eventually my goal is to have my own horse and just live in norway have my own horse and my own cat and just ride and just have a great time with my horse in, in nature there that's practically my dream <laughs> um, but first of course you need to have lessons and stuff and i have to educate myself because when I was seven or eight, I did have horse riding lessons for a little while, but it's very expensive and stuff, so I couldn't really afford it. And now I'm 20. Yes, I am. I know, I don't look like it. I just turned 20, but... <laughs> now, I am going to buy the game, Star Stable, purely because I can't do horse riding in real life yet, and I just want to do something. That's really all that it is, just money issues, I guess. And... But, like, until I move to Norway in 2024, I am going to try to do a summer horse camp in the summer vacation. For, like, you have then one week where you just stay there and just, you know, do those things and learn. And then when I move to Norway in 2024, I'm gonna sign up for lessons there. I know it's still expensive, but by then I, I expect to have a job in Norway so I can pay for it. fellow humans as you can hear my voice isn't what it used to be it's day six and you would think that i'm already healed by now but i'm not apparently so tomorrow i'm gonna end this vlog but not right now um today it was quite funny today i just did as little as i could i first went to online school did a master class and it was around 1 p.m and then i just laid on the couch and also i watched Exist for Love Sessions of Aurora and I watched an interview that was more deep, which I love. And it's so funny to see, you know, when the person you, you know, love so much um, says, you know, because I've never seen those things before. Um, and it was very enjoyable, but sometimes, you know, during the interview I was like, hey, I say that. That's so funny, actually. I don't know. It's just amazing to finally have found someone and now, like, this queendom, of course, I found more people, you know, who are more like me. That's just so amazing. I just realized that, so I guess I wanted to share it. And now I'm gonna take a bath. A uh, bath? Oh, wait. Um, maybe interesting. Tonight... Oh, yeah, I also drink tea, like, more often. And then, um, tonight I'm gonna watch a Ghibli movie after that, then, and eat something nice, and then I'm gonna sleep. That's it, really. So, what I can do. Hello, people. Tomorrow I'm going to Archeon, which I will start a new vlog. Um, so, I'm going to stop vlogging uh, this vlog right now. Whoa.